What's going on everyone? Jerome here and welcome, welcome back to some awesome Bloons Tower Defense 6, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're very, very excited to bring this one to you all. But for those of you that didn't know already, we did get the game early. We've done episodes in the last two days and we're so excited to bring this one to you. So shout out to Ninja Keepy for giving me a code early. If you guys want to thank them for me, you can go ahead and check out the game for yourself in the second line of the description. Uh, I'm sure they'd appreciate it and so would I. Uh, and apart from that, let's get on into the game. This is going to be so, so cool. Now, before we really, really do this, though, I just wanted to quickly remind you that there are a few rules. Uh, the biggest one being that Ninja Kiwi only wants to be showing one map per day on one video a day. So, once we pick a map, that's all we've got. But thank you to everyone in chat that is watching. I appreciate all of you coming out. Uh, and and yeah, besides that, the other rules are that I can only use one of the or two of the hero types. Uh, we're only going to use Quincy today. Uh, the last one is no tier 5 upgrades. I'm sorry, you just can't do it. So, that is pretty much that. Now, I don't know what I want to do. In the, we haven't done any intermediate levels just yet. We can give them a try. We can give an intermediate. Because I've done easy. Uh, I did two of them. Do you want to try... Let's go for an intermediate one. Let's just see what happens. We'll put it on... Mm, Put it on easy, and we'll see how we do. Put it on easy and see how we do, and if we can beat it, then we'll put it on medium right after that. Um, so let's start off the normal way by putting a good old Quincy down. Because Quincy is usually very good at this. And plus, he automatically upgrades every round. So you, the heroes, luckily, will upgrade every single round for you without you having to pay any money. So that's why it's good to put him down at the beginning, because the longer he's in the field, the more upgrades he gets. There we go. Now we're talking. Come on. Come on. And, oh, took him out. Perfect. Uh, what do we want to do next? Hmm. I don't even know what I want to do next to them. Okay, oh, what, what I can do is I can move this webcam to like right there. The reason why that's important is because then I don't have to cover up the power-ups as they come in. Um, that's good. A lot of these maps, it's hard to find good webcam placement on, um, but this one just happens to work. Okay, uh, we were being a little bit dumb there. Um, let's go ahead and I don't even know where I'd like to put this guy. There we go. Well, he just took them all out, like, instantly. And we'll put him right there. There we go. Help them out there, Dart Monkey, please. And perfect. Take a look at that. He's already in the zone. All right, so we got those two going at it together, and they'll work well. Uh, I want to get the Monkey Village down, because having him be able to see camo balloons is so key to success in this game. I actually wonder if I can get to wave 100 on this. Probably shouldn't have chosen an intermediate level to test that on. But we're already on the level. And I kind of want to give it a try. Now we have like all the towers unlocked. I kind of want to give... You know what? We'll just beat this level on... on inter, uh, nah, let's go for it. We'll go for round 100. Let's just see if we can do it. I'm just curious to see. Because uh, we got a lot of the upgrades we need now. And we definitely have every tower as well. So I'm not going to put it at like an impossibility, really. Um, this could work. Okay, now let's get the monkey village down, because the sooner we get this guy down, the absolute better, because he is going to help us by getting some XP and then eventually letting us hit camo balloons. Isn't that right, sir? Yep, you have 1,500 XP. Let's see. So for that round, he got, yeah, he got 150, so he'll be there in no time. Okay, so we got all that. Uh, another good one to get as well is the alchemy one, because he'll be making us tons of money. If you put him down uh, and you get him the right upgrades, he will be able to convert balloons into all sorts of fun things that'll be money generating. So, definitely want that. Okay. Thank you. Quincy, would you mind taking that guy out for me? Thank you, Palio. And let's get him stronger acid. All right. And Quincy in the back there. Once he's level 5, he'll be able to hit camo balloons for us as well, which is always a good one. And what does Grow Blocker do? Prevents regrow balloons from working while in the radius of the village. 
Oh, interesting. Not that great, but interesting. And oh, the druid. We definitely want to get a druid down as soon as possible as well. The druids are so helpful. But hey, thank you once again, every single person out there watching. I appreciate all the love and support. We've gotten tremendous love and support on these balloons videos uh, since we started doing them. So just thank you. And let's get acid pool, if you don't mind. Yeah, don't let any through there, Quincy. I'm watching you in the back. I'm watching you. I probably should just put down the tack factory at the back there, shouldn't I? Just to be, like, extra safe. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Yep, well, that confirms that for me. Let's go ahead and let's put some down at the very, very end of the line here. And we'll put them, like, right there. Thank you, Palio. And plus, that'll allow him to actually get some XP as well. Just for every round, even if the tower doesn't uh, hit any target or do anything, they still get a tiny bit of XP, so it's good to just keep him in the back there. Let him feel special. All right, faster throwing. Thank you. Now we'll save up for the lead to gold upgrade that'll soon to be come, coming our way. And what about you? Yes, I can get radar scanner. Finally! That is the single biggest reason that we lose most rounds. It's because most of our towers can't hit anything. Uh, so now with that ability, we are so set. All right. And with the tack in the back, the tack will also help us get the camos. So there is that little nugget of fun. Okay, come on. Lead to gold. Lead to gold. Let's get that upgrade already. And... Oh my gosh, so close. Thank you. Lead to gold. Just in time, too. Wave 23. I think the LEDs are coming very soon. So that works out well for us. There we go. Oh, man. You can get out of here with your nastiness, you camo balloons. Go away. Okay. And $2,300 for the next thing. For for rubber to gold. And that one, it's all balloons partially to gold. Getting more cash per pop. That one's so important, but that's definitely hard to come by. That's for sure. Okay. Oh, jeez. But you get so much more money for it when you get it. When you nail it. Come on. 2300 I could afford this soon. How much is the cam one? It's only 17 Wow. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and let's get some more money going as well. Might as well. Plus, I do want to start getting this all the way up. Because I do think that the key to success... Uh, for the banana farms is getting them to that marketplace. I don't know for sure. Obviously, I've never seen it with my own eyes, but I do think that that will give a lot of money. So there we go. Banana farms. Plus, the banana farms give you money over time anyway, so what's not to love about that? Get a little more XP in there. Or not XP, but money. Get a little more money going. Look at that. Just popping the lead balloons simply by throwing the acid down on them and getting money for it too. Okay, let's get bigger stacks now. And white hot spikes. And we'll get that upgrade. There you go, pal. Just in case the lead balloons decide to sneak on by, we just got that one now. Okay. And now we have to go back on the road of saving again to get that to 2300. Okay, okay. Come on, pal. And then there's also an upgrade as well you can get. This one right here. Grants special balloon popping knowledge, allowing nearby monkeys to pop all balloon types. So we can get that, and then they'll be able to pump or pop lead balloons as well. Um, so that might even be worth it to get, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, geez. Here comes the camo fun. Here's the fun of camo balloons coming in. All right. Get out of here, you camo balloons. You're not getting past Quincy, our sharpshooter. Well, yet, that is. They will eventually. Um, and when they do, oh man, will it be bad for us. Because they will come in huge swarms. And... Boom! There we go. Now we'll just be getting more money. Every time it converts it over. Thank you. And you can just save up and get XP. Oh, wow. I'm almost at Marketplace already. Nice. Well, we need to go ahead and get ourselves at least, like, two of these cannon towers. Okay, make sure that that one goes there. Wow! Okay, we are not in a good place because we have been neglecting, like, any of our responsibilities just for normal popping. Forest, forest Guardian? No way we got a new hero. That's cool. That's very cool. 
Okay, so we also need a glue gunner here. And getting a glue gunner as well that just simply has the ability... Let me see, can I... Does that reach? That does reach there. Just getting a glue gunner as well that just simply has the ability to, uh, to slow them down like that. And then, oh man. And if I get it so he's camo popping as well. There's so many cool upgrades that we need now. Glue splatter, thank you. There we go, now most of them are just going to be frozen, which is perfect. And you are very necessary, coming soon to a theater near you. I need this Moab Mauler stat. And then we need the one that can hit the camo balloon, so... Yeah, this is not going to be pretty for us. Okay. And... Marketplace! No way. Let's see what this is all about, Marketplace. Let's see what you are all about. I really do want this marketplace upgrade, though. I need to know the truth. It says that it will deposit it directly into... So it generates money each round and adds it to your total. No fuss. I mean, I totally want to know what that's about. Instead of having to pick all these things up... Yeah, we no longer have to pick it up. Look at that. It just generates more money for us. And you get plus 10% income. So that's pretty cool. I guess every round, then, you get like $110 instead of 100 Well, that was a close one. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Did I just totally mess up there? I just totally messed up. At the very end, I messed up. Because I was so busy doing random things. Oh, man. Well, I deserve that. Let's go back into it, then. And let's give it a try again. Um, we definitely should have done a better job there. But I just messed that one up big time. Alright, Quincy. Hold down the fort for us. Because that was just bad. That was a bad performance all around. We need to step up our game here. Alright, I'm going to put him down right here. Thank you. So now you can go ahead and get this part started. Thank you, Palio. I can't believe we let it through. We just need to get at least four Moab Shredders. That, like, that just needs to be a lesson to us. There needs to be at least four of them on the field. And the glue splatter guy is always important as well. That's another valuable lesson that we could learn. Okay. So let's get that. And you need to face strong ones. Thank you. And let's get... This one right here, corrosive glue, come on. Thank you. So now he'll be able to pop them for us. And I mean, bigger globs. So everyone's getting damaged there, perfect. Okay, that's good start there, very good start. And let's make sure you get sharp shots. And razor sharp shots, sure. Sure, that'll be good. There we go. And a 170 for the camo. All right. Let's get the camo one. Thank you. Enhanced eyesight is a go. Now there's the crossbow one as well. We'll have to save up to get the crossbow one here. Um, if we want to do that immediately, that is. If not, we can start going for the banana farm and get more money that way. Which I believe would be a very smart idea, to be honest. Getting an early game banana farm, if you can hold down the fort and afford it, it's probably just totally worth it. Um, and so far, from what I could tell, we can afford it. So we might as well just get that. Okay. Thank you. And I also want to get the banana farm. The reason why I want to get the banana farm, too, is I want to see what the upper route is like as well. Like, what does Central Market do? Earns heaps of money each round. Ah, see, that's probably better, actually. Let's keep saving up for that. Just to get the XP for that is just so insane. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Come on. Come on, monkey villages. These towers... These towers will do this for us. But thank you, stream, once again. I hope you guys have been having fun. I gotta ask, what is everyone's favorite tower out there? Everyone's always got a different answer for this question. So I'm just curious what everyone's favorite is. Of all time, if they had to pick a single one. Okay, there we go. Keep generating more money, please. And... Oops, some of them are trying to sneak through now. 
So we gotta save up, maybe get a tack factory at the very, very end there. We definitely need a tack factory at the very end here. Oh man, that was another close call. Yep, we'll just get the spike factory then going. And we'll put that right there. Perfect, and that'll save us for a couple rounds then. And only $510 to get the next upgrade here. Might as well get that one rolling. Come on, more money, quick as possible. Please. Thank you. Oh, uh, this is so stressful, though. I just can't believe we lost last round. That's so sad. Like, that is just such a sad thing that we lost last round. And on the last wave, too. All because we didn't put enough uh, down enough Moab Shredders. Other than that, like, I totally believe we can get to round 100. We just really just dropped the ball on that little thing there. But, hey, at least with this now, we'll be doing just fine. Because we got a banana farm much earlier this round. So... I can only imagine that with the marketplace as well, it's going to help us out a lot. Okay, thank you. And I wonder if the plus 10% income per round stacks, if we got like multiple of them. That would be pretty cool. Because uh, then if we had like five of them, we'd be getting 50% more money per round. Like, I don't know. That's pretty good if you ask me. There we go. And marketplace. Boom. Already got a marketplace. Just keep on generating that money, please. Should I just get another one of these guys? I mean, we're doing so... Ah, uh, but I think we're just getting greedy then if I do that. Okay, so let's get that there. And before... Well, let's go ahead and I'm going to get a druid down at the very end here, actually. The reason why I want the druid at the end here is because I want him to have the ability to send things back to the beginning. Because that ability is just so important. Okay. And let's get a monkey village on these guys at the front here. Thank you. Mostly I just want the XP that comes from this. Um, okay, so let's see. Yeah, no, no, I don't want the... What is it? I'm talking about monkey village. Thank you. And the bottom one is just better for money. So let's, let's get that then. Boom. And there we go. Monkey Commerce, then. We get more money for those pops as well. Thank you. More and more money for those. Perfect. Oh, jeez. Well, now we're talking. We are going to be able to beat this round. No ifs, ands, or buts this time. We are not messing this up. Strong first, please. Boom. With four of these, I know for a fact we can make it to an insane wave. I just know that for a fact. So, thank you. And, okay. That's one down. Let's get more of these bad boys. Well, we only need one for now. So, let's get the, we got the one for now. And the only reason I'm saying this is because I do want to get that other banana factory up. I just think that it will... Do wonder, or we could just not try and get to wave 100 and beat this on intermediate as well. Kind of want to just beat it on intermediate as well. Yeah, I kind of want to beat the level on intermediate too. So what? Let's just play this one out then, and then we'll put it on intermediate and we'll go from there. Uh, Cause I would like to give that a try. I think we could do it easily, but and then if that's the case, then we just need to do that. And just put down, like, two more of these, and then we're fine. Thank you. And then getting this ability right here to do seven, to, uh, for $1,700 to be able to see all sorts of towers will uh, be a good idea. Let's see. Oh, we can get spike balls now. And we can get that one, too. There we go. Spiked mines coming up. Or we could have got the Moab Shredder, but I feel like the Moab Shredding is really done by these two wonderful gentlemen in the front here. So, I don't really think there's a point to that. Strong, strong, strong. And strong. Awesome. All right, one more, and I can just have it shoot it out of the sky in the immediate. So, that'd be kind of cool. Here we go, and boom, Moab Assassin. And the last round is coming around the corner in a second here. Okay. Boom. Boom. Close it down. 
That right there, everyone, is beating that level on intermediate. So we are going to go ahead then, uh, and that was our first time beating the intermediate level. Now we're gonna try and beat an intermediate level on medium difficulty. Wish me luck, but let's get some GG's in chat. We beat it. Smash the like button, everybody. And, uh, okay, so we can't afford Quincy right off the bat, but we can afford this fine gentleman. So that is what we shall do. And honestly, he's not bad right off the start. A dart monkey? Well, look at that. I mean, he's going. Yeah, he's most certainly going. He's killing them all. Jeez. Okay. And, uh oh a couple of them are trying to break through. Which means we're definitely going to need a second one of these guys. Put him down right here. Going to need him to be able to see camo boons. So we're going to need a few of these guys for fighting camos, most likely. Thank you. And uh, we got to get these razor sharp ones. Lest we get in more trouble. Thank you. It's scary, though, because this is like all we can afford, really, at this point in time. You really can't afford much. Okay, now the druid towers we know to be very effective. So I'm going to put a druid tower at the very beginning and one at the very end as well. The end is so that he could send them backward and the one at the beginning is just so that he could use his lightning abilities and just deal tremendous amounts of damage. And plus early waves, take a look at how much damage he does to these things. Like he is a force and a half to be reckoned with. Okay. And swarms so that he can hit more of them. Plus I'm pretty sure right off the jump, he can actually take out, I think he can do four layers of balloons at one time. I mean, that's effective if you ask me. That's well, not even if you ask me. That just is very effective. So, yeah. Okay, Heart of Oak. Let's see. And. Can I get 1,000 more? Come on. We just need a thousand dollars, and then this guy is just going to be absolute destruction machine. He'll just be an absolute destruction machine. Although, to be honest with you, they're not even coming close. Yeah, they're literally not even coming close to beating us. Um, well, here, here's where the greed sets in. But, uh, you know what? No, let's be safe. I was gonna say let's get the banana farm instead, but no, let's be safe. All right. Thank you. Thank you for holding it down, Mr. Druid, with your lightning abilities. They are quite appreciated. And, oh, oh, we got a couple of ones trying to sneak by. And put this one down here. We're not taking any chances. This is the hardest thing we've done. We've been intermediate mode on easy maps. We are medium mode on intermediate uh, on easy maps. But we've never beaten medium mode on an intermediate map. So, and not in Blue and Star Defense 6, that is. We've done it in BTD 5, obviously, countless times, but... This is a whole different ball game, a different world, if you will. Okay, and it's almost banana farm time. I mean, it essentially is at this point, but let's see. Okay, thank you. And there we go. Keep keep on bringing in the money, pal. Thank you. And how much more XP? Nine thousand out of twenty thousand necessary. That is crazy. How much XP you need to upgrade these towers sometimes? That is just absolutely insane. Uh-oh. Ruh-ro. Did I really forget to get that upgrade? That's just depressing. At least I need to give you a warning shot, though, and only send one for that first one. Because that would be so annoying if they sent a bunch of them and you just lost right there. And, oh no. Looks like things are coming down to his lane, so... We better get that guy upgraded in the back there. Apparently, it's finally time for him to show and prove his worth. Although, maybe it's time really for Glue Gunner Friend to show his worth. And hello from the Glue Gunner. Yes, please. Can I get that? And boom, boom. Almost the marketplace. That's all we need. We just want the marketplace. If these guys can hold out a little longer. And 
do the banana farm that favor. Like, one more round. Like, one more round. Literally, like, a single more round, most likely. Oh, man, the Druid's Lightning ability takes out the Lead Balloon's covering, too. Well, that is a huge development that I didn't really know about till right now. Okay, this is it. Come on. Yes. Oh, now we're in the money. Now we are totally in the money. There it is. Things just got a lot easier. And now for 1800 I can get the glue splatter ability, too. Alright, keep on generating the money. Oh, gosh. Can't afford the tag factory. You need to have the crossbow going, then. There we go. Yep. And now we learned a lesson here. We need to put either... Uh, well, no, the tech factory is not even that good. We just need more camo popping abilities is what we need. We need a lot of things, actually, come to think of it. Glue splatter would definitely be one of them. So let's just get the glue splatter ability. That way, everything is glued now at all times, more or less. A couple things might make it through, but really not much. Yeah, not much is making it past that guy. Good. And then this guy in the back here. And one knowledge point. You've unlocked the secrets of monkey knowledge. Each knowledge point provides permanent benefits to your monkeys? What? I think that's a main screen thing. We need to find out what that's all about. That sounds really cool, though. I don't want to miss out on that. Um... Jeez, I'm getting nervous here now. But you all need to be able to see camo balloons if we're going to make this happen. So, call me crazy, but yeah, this actually is going to be quite the crazy strategy. So, just call me crazy, I suppose. Because we just went through all that and left ourselves vulnerable. But we are going to get that radar scanner. Come on, radar scanner. And then we're going to leave ourselves so vulnerable after doing this. Well, here we go. That's the one we need. All right. And now we just need to get a bomb tower in the right place. This is a crazy and not smart idea. Well, I just got that one as well. $7,500 at once for that upgrade. Jeez. Talk about a really long game move. $7,500 for a single upgrade. Okay. Well, I need at least two of these guys online if I am at all to beat round 40 with Moabs. Come on. Give me a little bit of luck here. And uh-oh. Rut row. Come on. No. Mm. That's going to deal a lot of damage to us. And that is very unfortunate. Can I have 900 bucks, please? Yes. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, jeez. My- I'm literally, like, not saying anything because I'm just so nervous right now. Some just got through, but that's okay. Not enough to beat me, though. Right? Right. Yes. Alright, this guy needs to have better defenses in the back there. Now we need to have him have the uh, ability to send things back. The ability to send things back will be very key for us. Come on. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just get him the regrow ability. Oh my gosh. That was way too close. Let's put an alchemy guy down as well. Might as well get this guy working his magic. Wow. Was that good or what? That was very lucky there. Okay, lead to gold. Rubber to gold is $2,750. Don't even think that one's worth it at this point in the late game. Okay. Come on. 
Let's get more of these guys down. I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get a bunch of tacks at the very end of this. I'm like, not that confident in myself right now. I need to put as many tacks down as possible. This is turning from just bad to worse. I gotta say, this intermediate map, it's- it's doing a number on me, that's for sure. And on medium difficulty too, with the less money. I mean, we're holding up, but for how long? All right, what are these next upgrades? Spike balls to do extra damage to ceramic and fortified balloons. Jeez. Well, I actually wonder if putting down more, put down a druid of the storm. I wonder if a druid of the storm at the very beginning would actually do some damage there. Uh, I mean, it definitely, I think, is helping. I think it's helping a little bit. You can be very wrong about that, but it appears that it is helping. I'm getting very nervous, though. Should I just get a, should I get a super monkey going? We never have tried the super monkey. I think I got him briefly, yeah, like very briefly, kind of like a meme. Let's see what these things do. So, balloons get pushed backward or slowed after each hit. Enables them to hit camo balloons. Deals extra damage to Moab class balloons. Dark blades excel at puncturing and ruining all balloon types. That sounds really cool. But then the plasma blasts up top. Okay, because if not, then you're kind of stuck with this. Yeah, I mean... You kind of would have to do top bottom. Middle bottom wouldn't work. So top bottom is kind of the strategy you'd have to go. I I would think anyway. I like top bottom. I do because it does extra damage to Moab balloons. So yeah, that's probably what I would end up doing. Oh my. Oh my. Well, they just really tried to get past there. And that did not go well for us. All right, well, that was a sign right there as well. More Moab balloons are in my future. Well, this is a... Oh, I was about to say a big moment for us, but then I just realized that he just kind of shot right through him. All right. Keep shooting him down. And then, with these... Just need to get more and more of these down if I want to make it past wave 60. Oh! There we go. Oh my gosh! Tell me that everyone else out there isn't watching this and being just like, just on the edge of their seat. Like, I am very nervous about this right now. Very nervous. This is not pretty. Um, oh, I didn't even get that. Let's do that and get more money. Okay, what does this do? Monkey Town. All within the blast, get extra cash per pop. I thought what this was. Oh, no, it wasn't what that was. Okay, well, that's $10,000 for that. Yeah, no thank you. <gasps> no way. I unlocked the full auto rifle. Oh my gosh. And it's only $4,750. I totally need to know what it is, even though I'm risking losing if I do that. Well, when I put it that way, that actually sounds like an awful idea. Strong. Jeez, was that ever a terrifying thing? That was extremely, extremely terrifying. I got another monkey dodge point. All right. Um. Okay, what can I be doing differently? Because those guys were just running through me. They were like absolutely running right through me. Okay, laser blasts. How much for that one? Okay. Not too much. Let's get the, maybe the laser blast ability will help us. Uh, potentially it did, but I can't really tell. Okay, and let's go and put this down here. Got another one of those. Oh my gosh. All right. This could only get bad, honestly. This, I don't know, stream. I don't really know. All right, well, we've got six Moab Maulers down. I wish we had a way to get more hearts, like the spy from Blue Star Defense Battles that steals it. I mean, I guess we don't have an opponent, so who would it steal it from? But it would still be cool if there was something, something out there that did it. Okay, here we go. Well, come on. 
We held that fort down good. I have a lot of money left over. I'm not sure what I want to spend all this on, to be honest. Like, I really don't know. There we go. Now we got spiked balls. And the spiked mines are 15,000 each. Jeez. All right, well, the spiked balls are very good, so... <gasps> Central Market. I just realized we had that upgrade. I didn't even... $18,000. That very, better be very, very good. Okay, so this round, let's get the Moab Assassin. Moab Assassin. And come on. Yes. And that's what I'm talking about. It's about to be done in a second here. Come on. We beat intermediate mode on medium. And I got to say, that was like not easy. Not easy at all. The hard part, the hardest part about this, everyone, is that being there's only a very small amount of YouTubers out there who actually have this game early, there's no guides that I can really find online. So whenever we try these things out, genuinely, like, my reaction is, it, it's real. I'm like, oh god, like, are we going to win this or not? I don't even know. Um, very scary. Like, very, very scary when it comes down to it. But, we beat it somehow. Alright, uh, so I guess I'm gonna play a little bit of free play, mostly because I want to get these next upgrades and see what they're all about. Because I feel like they'll be super cool. Um, oh, jeez. Wow. Well, if we are able to be granted that wish, because these things are just going right through us. Okay, well, let's get more of them. I don't even know how many more of these we're going to need, but we just got two more. Hopefully that can make a big difference for us. What about you? Are you almost at your ability? No, he's not even close to his ability for Plasma Blasts. Well, I want to get the full auto sniper to see what that's about, and I also want to get the central market upgrade. Because I feel like that one is going to be cool. Central market's going to be real cool. Thank you. Jeez. Oh, man. They're making an effort. They're making a push. And round 63. That is pretty crazy. We didn't get to know what the super... Uh, we didn't even get to see what the fully auto sniper does. All right, well, let's take a look on the main screen here. I haven't even explored this very much, but now we got the knowledge... Well, now we've got the knowledge thing. Let's see what that's all about. So we got two books of knowledge there. Primary. What is this? Attack shooter attack speed increased by eight. Oh, I know they had this. They had this in the last game as well to an extent, but apparently they just really did it well. So attack shooter is much better. Blades. Okay. Well, what about like ones that we really like? Like mil. Okay, military knowledge. I like magic. Magic's my favorite one. Let's see. Increase range for the super range ability. Longer projectile lifespan for wizard monkey, super monkey. Ninja Monkey and Druid. Hmm. Oh, how much? It's so weird because it, it mix and matches them, not based on the tower, but by the class. So, like, one upgrade might be the Druid, and the next might be the Apprentice. Creates a special shield that absorbs up to 25 lives for free. Your charges, five lives at the start of each round. That is actually pretty cool. Okay. What can we get, though? What other things are there? Support knowledge. Oh, Farms and villages cost 2% less than sell for 2% more. It's bad, but what are the next things? Valuable vanities upgrades increase to 30%. Do we even use that one, though? Do we use the more valuable banana? No, we don't. We go the top route. Okay, what's this one? Discounts increase. Okay, monkey banks can hold 2,500 extra money. Each game costs 100 less. Monkey town cash bonus increased by 10%. All monkeys sell for... It's not really that good. It's not really what I'm all about. So what would I like to do? Military. No, I don't need the Buccaneers. The Air Force. Or this one. All military monkeys get a one-off 1,000 XP and earn XP in game 5% faster permanently. That's pretty cool. Snipers hit ceramic balloons. Slow them down briefly. May Moab costs reduced by 1,000. That's good. Elite Defender has no cooldown. All Moab class balloons spawn in partially damaged. Now that is a very important final upgrade that we very much so need. So we're going to do that. And let's work towards this. 
This upgrades our sniper, so that's good all around. That is good for our sniper. That's good for our sniper. That's also good for our sniper. Yeah, let's keep going that route for the sniper. And that is cool. What other cool things are out here? Um, actually, at the top it said plus. How do, what's the plus mean? Oh, you can grab the knowledge books. I see. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Makes sense. All righty. Well, then let's go over to here. Looking good. And, ooh, all right. Does the daily record. This right here is cool. This is the daily challenge, so they brought that back as well. And is there any other cool things in this page? Oh, the heroes page. Wonder. Okay, it says we have four heroes. I wonder if there's any more, though, that have yet to be unlocked. Or if this is all the four that they come with. This might just be the final four. But I'm not sure. Hmm. And then, oh, we finished the quest. Win one game of an intermediate map. Sure. Thank you. I'll take that and apply your first monkey knowledge point. Thank you. I'll take that, too. All right. What are the other quests? Oh, man. Most of these are very far from coming true. But that's going to do it, everybody. That is all we have time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then do us a big old favor. Smash the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for joining us, everyone.